Okay, hopefully they don't notice me in this tree because there's a lot of them. Ah, shit. I mean, on the bright side, they can't get to me. And maybe they'll run into the explosive trap. However, they seem to have naked cannibal problems of their own to deal with, so hopefully that keeps them busy. I mean, to be honest, we're not in danger up any eh, shit, they can climb trees. I seem to forget that. Back up. Oh, so close to running into the explosive. They'll do it. They'll do it. I'm calling it. Oh, he's dragging his comrade out of battle. We got the fire torch. Dude, this is like, like, unprecedented. This is like a full-out gang war here. Look at this shit. <gasps> They're fleeing. Yeah, we're just kind of observing this. Oh my god. No, no, no. Pay little attention to me. Run into the explosives. Yes. Explosives. There. Ah. Uh, I'll run across that little one meter long area soon enough. In the meantime, we'll put some sticks on our treehouse. You know, might as well be a little bit productive. I mean, come on. They're all just like circling down below us, aren't they? Alright, we might have to execute strategy Omega Delta Theta Beta 69. And that involves us running like little girls screaming across the beach. Uh, hoping that we are able to catch some ground on them and hiding in a far away bush. On the other hand, we got uh, ooh, got a couple nakeds. A couple hunchbacks there, maybe. They'll encounter our friends encircling us from below. And maybe they'll help us out. I mean, these guys don't seem to be our friends. Last time we tried reasoning with them, it ended poorly for mainly us. I think one of them might have died, but mainly we, we suffered. They seem to be swinging at our tree. Or swinging at each other. Okay, they uh, blew up the explosive. Uh, we have holy shit, even more cannibals coming in. Oh, those are nakeds too. This is like... Oh my god. I think we called in the reinforcements. That, that one is aggressively humping that bush. Okay, well, I'm happy I made this tree platform to watch the mayhem unfold from above. On the other hand, there's going to be a lot of dead bodies in my camp, and I don't want to deal with that. So, it's a bit of a trade-off, but, I, sh 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 whatever. You know, we'll deal with it. They seem to care a little about each other, and seem to care more about me. Alright, well, you know, we're getting pretty freaking hungry from standing on top of a tree, so we're gonna drink up. Get hydrated and get the fuck out of here! Oh shit, please tell me I'm running. Please tell me I'm running fast enough. I think running on a diagonal is also faster in this game. I don't know. I know it works for certain games. Uh, specifically those of the Unity engine. I'm not sure if it's going to work in this context. Now the part where we hide in a bush. They have seen through my ruse. No. Okay. The part where we run. Period. Please, 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 please let me get away. Let me get away. I don't want... I don't want to fight, guys. I'm friendly. <gasps> okay, we may have lost them. Good, good. Let's, let's wait it out from this little bush. God damn. Never building on this beach again. Let's go bush to bush, cover to cover. Seem to have gotten in a fight over there. Let's survey our original land claim. Maybe if we take the long way around, we might be able to get there undetected. That'd be best case scenario here. We gotta get some walls going, though. That'd be amazing for us. <sighs> Alright. Coast seems relatively clear. We were able to execute a uh, plan uh, Charlie Omega Delta Theta Beta 69 fairly well, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, we're gonna drink. Uh, no, we're gonna. Uh, we're, we're looking. We're looking good. We're looking good. That's where we're at. Uh, yeah, yeah. We need to get some walls installed. This area sucks without laws. W walls, not laws. I don't really think it has laws, but. Whatever. Uh, it's not going to be the biggest encampment, really, because I'm going to kind of focus more on the tree side of things. So kind of just heads up with that. Uh, with this platform, we are going to have the rope on the outside, because this is going to be our entrance. We're going to have to climb in by rope. 
probably a disastrous idea, but you have to understand, I'm a disastrous person. And once you fully comprehend this fact, you will realize that this is the perfect fit for me. Uh, so pretty much we just want to keep just nearby trees intact so we could build little bridges to and from them. Uh, this one's a bit too close to do anything effective with, so we could probably get away with chopping this one down. And then I do want to build a little bit of a bridge between the plat- I actually want to see if we can build a bridge between the treehouse and the platform as well. Okay, now that we're back to cutting down trees, as you can see, off topic for like five minutes there, back to my chainsaw idea. I think I explained it pretty well how it, uh, that's not creepy at all. How it, uh, attracts noise to you and attracts attention. But at the same time, it uses up gas and it chops shit down a lot faster, so it's kind of a trade-off, and oh my god, she just became disgusting. I mean, she was disgusting from the beginning, but it just got a lot worse. And uh, yeah, with that old trade-off idea and how that works, and then just, it would remedy one of the, I guess, biggest negatives of the forest is that in order to build something cool, you, you really need to set aside some time to just chop shit down and it's eh, it can be the opposites of fun at times but I mean that's at least my two cents I mean I'll do one here what you guys have to say on the top as well so uh, tell me if you guys have any possible ideas and or quote unquote remedies for this a uh, problem well it's not really a problem it's just I guess feature so you have to work harder for this, but it'd be kind of cool to add an extra item in the chainsaw. You have to find fuel to even use it, and I'm always for more items. You know, more items is more fun. Usually. I think. I don't know, I've never really known an instance where less items was less fun. Except maybe like in Mario Party where my friends had more items than me in that case. I was having less fun because they were screwing me over, but in this context, we're playing alone, so we we can't really screw ourselves over. We're not gonna. We're probably gonna screw ourselves over anyway, but that doesn't change anything. And uh, yeah, okay, I just made the worst point of all time. But guys, trees stop going through other trees. What are you doing, son? Uh, no, that's our tree house. We don't want to. We want to get. What is it? One more tall tree? And then once we get one more tall tree, we should be good in the hood up in Inglewood. Uh, oh shit, okay. We got those guys. We're gonna go hide somewhere far, far away, and by that I mean just chop down a tree on the other side. Yeah, near the... That'll do. That'll serve the purpose. As long as we're away from them and not drawing their attention, you know what? We're good. Uh, let's eat another snack bar. Holy shit. Our food is really not doing too well. We might want... Oh, our uh, dried meat may be edible now, so we should take a look into that. And here we should get the five logs we were wanting, so... Should be good to go, since we chopped this down. And have our second platform, then we can try and engineer... Oh, fuck, they're still coming this way. They seem to be in the middle of our camp. He seems to be stuck on my sled. Interesting. Two two naked two naked cannibals on the beach as well. They seem to be creeping up on the search party. I am intrigued to say the least. I don't think that the clan leader is going to be doing anything anytime soon. I think he's just gonna stay stuck on that log sled. It probably should incorporate a feature in the game where, you know, if someone's stuck on a certain item for, like, a minute, you should probably, like, turn around or something. Because I've had a guy just kind of infinitely walking. And when the clan leader is infinitely walking in your base, I mean, everyone else follows him, so you're kind of you're screwed in that regard. I don't really want to fight him, so maybe if you run away and run back, they'll be gone. Fucking creepy lady in the woods. Okay, she sees us. I'm pretty sure other people saw us. You know what? Yeah, I'll just have hell break loose. Uh, 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 break. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, we're getting hurt? How, how am I getting hurt? Hello? Hello? Okay. How am I getting hurt? I'm on fire, aren't I? Shit. 
Shit, one of them has a torch. Okay, we're running to the water. Run into the water. We are in the water. We died? Hello? Oh, fuck. I haven't saved the game in forever, though. Do we just spawn back in the caves? Okay, we do. New cave. New fun. Is this a different cave? Oh, yay! Upside down bodies and satanic rituals. My favorite. We did get a wristwatch, though. <gasps> Multiple wristwatches. Oh, my God. I'm happy I died. I mean, that's good news that we don't actually die. Because we had a lot of progress that we probably should have saved. So, yay. Uh, let's see. I need some meds. Not doing so hot on food. That's our last snack bar. We have to go collecting soon. Uh, we have a flashlight, right? Yeah. Let's use up the flashlight. That is so much better. Now then, is there a map down there so we could figure out when and where we are? Actually, can we break open these briefcases? No. I don't think these are the break openable. Oh my god, wristwatch. Every dead body has a wristwatch. Holy shit, was this like an executive flight we were on? How many wristwatches can we collect? Like, I think three is the limit. Ah. Oh. Well, we'll, uh, we'll remember this in case we gotta, you know, loot some dead bodies. Always good to have backup plans. Everyone has a freaking wristwatch on their hands. Okay, I mean, I'm not complaining. I can't complain. You know what? I'm the one who's asking for easier ways to do stuff, and in a way, they're giving it to us right here. So, I can't complain. Where the hell is this? It's like a tiny little... Well, cat, what is that? A purse? Uh... Uh, oh! Hello. What is this? How do we break through that? Can we use our different axe to break through this? I don't know. Let's use the lighter, maybe? That gives us a bit more ambient light, which is good in a way. There we go. Breaking up. <gasps> yes! We got the flare gun! We're freezing to death. Headless bodies. Or heads. Oh shit, we gotta get out of here. Oh no. We're gonna freeze to death if we don't get out soon. This is bad. This is bad. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Please, please, please. Okay, okay. You know what? Uh, we, I think there's a meal here, right? There we got shit here, shit there. Uh, axe. Food! Yes, maybe the food will keep us warm. I, I don't know. Let's collect what we can. Let's get the hell out of here. This sucks. A lot. Oh, don't freeze to death, please. I, I think we'll be alright. I don't think the freezing is too widespread. Just, just a little bit. I don't think it's going to advance anymore. I think we kind of held it at bay. Okay, that's cool. Just kind of get stuck in between that rock. Thanks, game. Really love you sometimes. God damn. Yo, hello? Can I can I not leave this cave? There we go. Holy shit. Talk about a glitchy there. <sighs> I'm just shielding myself for the inevitable. Us getting shit on. Uh this seems to be a different way up. I don't remember it being like this narrow and shit. This is like direct this is uh definitely seems different. Yeah, things have, uh, they have changed in caves. I don't remember it having, like, these wood platforms leading up, either. Interesting, to say the least. I mean, it is, you know, I'm happy that after we died, you know, we didn't lose all our progress, and we just keep getting abducted to the caves. I'm cool with that. I'm, you know, very happy, especially because in multiplayer... You never really die, you just respawn at the plane. So, yeah, this is kind of fair in a sense. The question is, where the fuck do we go? Like, I, I don't know where to go. I don't know where I want to go either. I, I want to go home. That's where I want to go. Where's my house? It doesn't show up. Oh man, are we on like, have we been abducted to a new land? Okay. <gasps> oh, is that a l Oh, what the fuck? Oh no, what is that? It's like crawling around. It's it's jumping? What the fuck? What is that? Uh, oh. 
I've seen them b before. I've never seen them moving. Can we walk around this without disturbing anyone? Is that possible? I don't want to, like, fight these things. I just want to go home. Uh, okay, maybe we can take, like, a detour here. I'm not really mentally prepared for this. Uh, shit, speak of the devil. The game isn't prepared for this either. Well, you know what? We always have the option of running the fuck past this shit and not looking back. Stir up a bit of controversy amongst them, whatever. You know what? They can discuss, like, hey, did you guys see that uh, dumbass human running through here? Yeah, yeah, he was making fun of our stupid babies that look like they're... They're dumb. Huh. I mean, those, those babies do not have a bright future, if you ask me. They're, like, mutated and shit. They're not going to college. Uh-uh. I mean, I don't even know if this, like... If this, like, island has a college? I mean, I'd assume so. I mean, even cannibals have to get higher education, but... You know. You know how these things go. Uh, can we make that jump? I don't think so. Oh, shit. We're swimming now? Okay. I don't know where that leads, but... Nowhere. Okay, so it's just a bit of water. Are we free? Like, we seem to have been abducted a lot deeper this time than before. I see light. Oh. Oh, what kind of light, though? Wooden light. Okay, we gotta break through this. I don't think we can use the plain axe, though. We gotta use one of the heavier axes. Like, the modern axe to break through this. Or we just can't use our lighter at the same time. Makes sense. 